Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So one of the biggest questions I get asked almost every single day by players is what combo I would recommend. Now there's obviously a bunch of different combos that I would recommend, but the big combo I always like to tell people about is the combo that I used basically the entire way all the way to legend. I used this combo for one to two years almost in a row, barely switching off of it. Now you can go back to my old videos and you'll see a lot of the time I'm using this exact combo. It is of course Viking Freeze with Booster. Booster drone used to be my, my number one most used drone. You can tell because my double damage is basically half of any of my other supplies because I used booster the most out of any drone. Now booster drone used to be a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable back when you could use two supplies at once without having to wait, but still pretty good overall, really good drone. Of course for freeze, I am using corrosive mix because it's a crystal augment. This was the best crystal augment back before they started adding all these OP augments like pulsar, but yeah, corrosive mix, 10% damage boost on top of booster, which is a 25% damage boost. You're doing so much damage with this combo. And of course, I'm just using Viking with honestly, cold immunity, one of the better augments in my opinion, because if you're going against another freeze player and they have the freeze effect, it's a lot more annoying to go against if you're not using cold immunity. But yeah, this is the free combo that you guys could use today if you really wanted to. It's the combo that got me all the way to legend. I used it for years in a row. Now, the big reason I don't really use this combo anymore is because the gameplay style has definitely changed a lot. You have a lot more long range maps in the matchmaking pool. A lot more players just sit back now, not really caring to move around much anymore as well, which is definitely... It's something new. Yeah, it's always happened, but it hasn't been nearly as bad as it's been in the last year or two. And the big reason for that is, of course, augments, because the more OP augments that get added, the more players who don't have these OP augments are just going to sit back because they can't compete whatsoever against the augments that'll just one shot them. So now a large majority of the player base is kind of forced to sit back in their base and take pop shots or else they're basically going to get destroyed. Back in the day, it wasn't nearly as bad because everyone kind of had an equal footing with the crystal augments. Sure, it was still expensive to get crystal augments, but you could at least compete against the enemies. Whereas now, if you're not lucky enough to get those really OP augments, you're kind of forced to either sit back or use a combo that you're just super familiar with. Now, this, of course, is a free combo, meaning every single person can use it if they have this all upgraded and locked for their level or rank, I guess, not level. But yeah, it's definitely my favorite combo. I would use it so much more. It's just, again, with the current matchmaking meta and just everything going on in the game, it's pretty hard to do well most of your games with just one combo. You have to switch it around nowadays, especially with the map pool. There are so many long range maps in the game now. And again, if you know me, you know my channel. I do not like long range maps because half the time it's just teams of 14 versus 14, 12 versus 12, all sitting in the back and you have to deal with basically 10 people shooting at you at once. Honestly, wish matchmaking had some sort of slider where you could choose to only have medium and short range maps. That would be the perfect tool for me to use because man, I hate playing long range maps. The big thing for me is I hate taking one versus three, one versus four, which most of the time in big maps you're going to end up doing, especially in maps where there's more equal sides. Of course, I'm in a map where I can use cover a lot easier. But most big maps in the game, in order to get to the enemy base, you have to go up against five, six enemies all staring at you, which can get really annoying when you're using Freeze or Firebird or Aceta. So honestly, if I had a slider where I could only have medium and short range maps in my actual matchmaking pool, that would be five times better. Because man, one of the big reasons I don't like playing any a lot anymore is because I have to queue three to four battles before I find a battle that I'll actually enjoy. Either one, it'll just be a map I don't like, too big, too annoying, or I'll end up being against an enemy team that is, there's just no way I'm going to be doing well. I mean, I always like to say, leave a battle if you're not doing well. There's no reason to stay and not have fun. I mean, you can get in battles if you're doing quick play every five to ten seconds. It's not hard to find battles. It's just harder these days to find battles that are going to be actually equal and fair for whatever combo you're using. That guy isn't going to be annoying. I'm just going to use this guy's defense here. Come on, give me the kill. Please? He has defender. Oh, defender's pretty good. See, like, look at this. If I was on the attacking team and actually trying to cap the points, I would be having no fun. Not only are there just mines surrounding every single entrance, but most of my team is just sitting in the middle. I mean, of course, it is the mode you're supposed to defend. But again, I'm a huge fan of modes like CTF, TDM. Normal Deathmatch was pretty fun back in the day before it kind of just became this annoying event mode. But yeah, I will leave most of the games I'm in. If I was on the attack here side on this team, I would 100% have left by now. Okay, Defender. That's so annoying to go against. Dude, on full health, Defender, Repair. That's going to be hard no matter what turret you're using, what augment you're using. 
All right, this guy's going to die so fast. Remember, I'm doing 25% additional damage with booster, plus the 10% additional damage with, with the freeze augment I'm using. You can definitely switch up the freeze augment. Honestly, shock freeze is pretty good, as well as high pressure pump. Shock freeze, they actually buffed it, so it's pretty good now. And it's another crystal augment, so at least they buffed a crystal augment. I'm also not a huge fan of night maps, so I'll leave a lot of the night maps that I'm in. I don't know. If, <laughs> night maps are nice every once in a while, but when I get them two, three, four maps in a row, I just like maps where it's daytime because it's just more enjoyable to look at when I'm playing. Whereas night maps definitely can sometimes get annoying to look at. Okay, dude, their entire team is good. This guy has freaking Phoenix for Hopper. Like, what? That's already annoying to go against. Their entire team is pretty darn good. Like, the map's three minutes in, and I'm second place right now. I joined about 30 seconds ago, and my team is getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I would honestly switch out Corrosive Mix with Shock Freeze, just because of the buff Shock Freeze got. It used to be really bad because you did half the damage, but you had a lot more Freeze effect. But now, you only do 5-10% to 10 less damage, and you still have the exact same Freeze amount. Alright, luckily, Freeze Immunity on Viking here, able to do a ton of damage there. All right, freeze him. Now he doesn't do double damage. That's really nice. Dude, freeze, it's a pretty nice counter against people having the super OP augments because they do half the damage when you have the freeze effect on them, which is super, super helpful. The only problem is it is, a, it is of course, freeze, meaning most maps you're probably not going to want to use freeze in because getting to the enemy is like half the freaking battle with this turret. But yeah, this is the combo I used to get all the way to legend. I used it for so freaking long until the matchmaking meta started to change a little bit where it became less effective and I used a bunch of other combos like Hornet Railgun or Hopper Ricochet with Helios. Those were my other two combos I used a good amount. But yeah, if you're going to purchase anything with shop, don't forget to use Critic Tag Taskman. It helps me out a ton. Just settings, account, use my Creator Tag. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this combo. Honestly, it's just super nostalgic. I use this combo for so many years. It's just my go-to combo when I don't know what to use. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in a future video. Peace out.